A genetically engineered pig heart was successfully transplanted into a dead man who was connected to a ventilator. A New York University team announced on July the 12th that researchers had successfully transplanted genetically modified pig hearts into two recently deceased people while they were connected to ventilators. The procedures are the most recent advancement in the field of animal to human transplantation or xenotransplantation which has seen a string of successes this year. This now raises hopes for a new stable supply of organs to alleviate shortages. The difference between these heart transplants and normal person-to-person -person heart transplants is the organ itself, genetically modified pig's hearts. The team's goal is to integrate the practice of typical everyday heart transplants, using only non-human organs, without the additional help of untested equipment or drugs, with the aim of them operating normally. The transplants were performed on June the 16th and July 9, and each recipient was monitored for three days. The participants' hearts continued to function normally during this time, and the receptors showed no signs of rejection. They were hooked up to ventilators in order to keep their bodily processes running on a semi-regular basis even after death. The hearts are believed to come from the biotech company Revivica, which produces genetically modified pigs. Revivica also funded the research. These pigs had 10 genetic modifications, 4 of which were to block the pig's genes and prevent rejection, and 6 of which were to add human genes. These procedures are carried out in a dedicated operating room for xenotransplantation, one that will not be used for any other surgical procedures. Even though pig hearts have been transplanted into living people, it is important to test transplants in deceased patients, to learn, study, measure and try to unravel what's going on with this new incredible technology. The transplant cannot be studied in such detail if the recipient is still alive. The NYU team believes clinical trials could begin sometime between now and 2025. Revivica hopes to begin clinical trials within the next year or two. There is still a lot to learn about xenotransplantation, and a lot to figure out about the ethics of animal to human procedures. But if it is successful, we could offer a new option to the thousands of people waiting for organs. Allogeneic transplantation offers the best opportunity for a renewable, sustainable source of organs, so that no one has to die waiting for an organ replacement. Do not stop taking any prescribed medications or treatments without consulting your doctor. The materials and the information contained on this channel are provided for general and educational purposes only, and do not constitute any legal, medical or other professional advice on any subject matter.